so now unboxing the 256 model. Last time we unboxed the 512. So I wanted to see how different the 256 model is. So, so far it looks exactly the same as far as the unboxing. So it has the same exact warning and then uh, same exact packaging with the charger. And we'll see if there's any difference on the charger itself. Nope, that looks the same. Next up would be the actual device. So we'll put this aside as well. So like I said, same exact packaging so far. And, yep, same warning, same everything. I don't notice a big difference. Uh, and this would be the first difference. All right, you can probably already see a couple of differences. So first off, that blue dot right here, that tells you that this is the 512 model, not the 256, because the 256 doesn't have that. Also, if you notice that this is just a printout on here, there is no texture to it whatsoever. Uh, so if you look at it from the side, you can't see it. But this one right here is actually a rubber. If you look at it from the side, you'll notice that it's sticking out. This you could feel with your finger. It's not just a printout like this one. And next up, I noticed that the zippers right here, the ones on the 256 models are black and the ones on the 512 model are white. And next up, also, if you look around the back, so this one does not include the uh, little pouch right here, but this one does. That pouch that comes with it also has that same blue logo. This comes with the 512 model only. And I do like having this because putting your charger in here and then after you close it, you can just stuff it back here behind the strap and it feels like it's not gonna fall out. So you can just hold it by the carrying case and you know it's not gonna go anywhere. But just putting the charger without the pouch back there makes me feel a little bit worried because I feel like it might slip out because you know, it's plastic. So plastic slides around and I feel like it just might fall out without me noticing. But then again, it's just a pouch. You could probably get this for pretty cheap and you can just put it back there if you wanted. Moving on to the inside, 256 model. Like I said earlier, it is black on the inside and the material is different. So if I open this one, you'll see what this looks like. It's a little shiny and I'm sure you've already seen this material before where it just over time collects dust and just white stuff starts sticking to it and it doesn't look very good. Uh, in comparison, if you look at the 512 model, this one has this material right here that just looks higher quality. It's a better material and over time it's not gonna look dirty. I guess because this already kind of looks like dust so it would be hard to tell if it's dirty or not. And next up, I also wasn't losing my mind so the strap is different. It's white on the 256 model and it's black on the 512 model. And next up, the differences in the actual device. So I'll actually show you a very simple way that will let you be able to see it even on your screen. Uh, the differences between the matte display and the glossy display. So just getting both devices out like so, if I put them on the table. So if I put them right next to each other like this under the light, you'll notice how one of them is very clear and the other one is pretty blurry. This is because this one has the matte display, so it makes light not reflect as much and it looks a bit muted, while the 256 display just looks like a mirror where it reflects everything. But then again, on a closer look, you would notice that the 256 model, the display looks blacker than the 512 model. So honestly, this is going to be up to personal preference. I tend to actually lean a little bit towards the, the glossy display. Just from my experience with previous devices, I tend to feel like it looks a little bit more clear, while the matte display tends to look a little bit muted or not as clear. But then again, if you're outside and the sun is shining directly onto your device, then you're going to regret not having the matte display. So honestly, it's personal preference and also situational. So that one would be up to you. Now the 512 model is actually not mine. I got to use it for a while, but I ordered the 256 for myself because I felt like either one of them is not enough storage for me because I felt like getting the 256 model and just getting a big SD card like a 512 or a one terabyte is going to be enough. So buying the 256 gigabyte model and an SD card that's 500 112 gigabytes that ended up costing me about $600 with taxes, but the 512 model would end up being around 680 to 690 dollars with taxes. So going with this option, I ended up saving about $100, and on top of that, I have 750 gigabytes instead of 512. But you might be somebody who wants the extra storage and the matte display, and also get an SD card that make your storage even more than what I have. Because I'm thinking the limit on the one I have is maybe getting a one terabyte SD card with my 256. That would be about 12. Uh, but with this one, if you do the same, you'd have 1500 at the end. I don't know how much that would matter, but I feel that would be overkill. They both have the same exact boot up. I don't expect as much because they're running the same software.
Of course, the 512 model started first because the 512 model is already set up, but the 256 model, I'm still going to set up this one, but then I'll get back to you to see if there's any differences as far as the software goes. So meanwhile, let's take a look at the actual devices and see if there's any differences. So just looking from the front, everything looks the same. The buttons look the same. Looking up top, no difference on the bottom either. Sides look the same. And finally the back, which also looks exactly the same. So the differences so far have been only on the case and the stuff that came with it. All right, so now that both of them are open, I made sure that both of them are running on the same account and on the same software. So if I hit check for updates, both of them say they're up to date. And I gotta say, just by looking at the home screen, I can already tell that I prefer the glossy display more than the matte display. Cause you can tell that the glossy display looks clear in comparison to the matte display. And I don't know why I expected the matte display to be better when it comes to light reflections. But looking at the glossy display, I actually prefer this because if you look at the light that's over here, it just ends right where the light actually ends. So you can only see the light around here. But then looking at this display and it's under the same exact light, you can see how the light is just bouncing across the display. Like you could see light all the way up till like around here. I feel like I can see more reflections on this one than I do on that one, which is weird, but maybe outside it would be a different story with reflections from the sun. But aside from that, I was taking a look on the actual device and the software is pretty much exactly the same. I don't notice a difference. So I'll try and boot up the same game and we'll see if there's any difference in performance. And at the same time, we'll see how the colors look and everything when it comes to head to head comparisons. All right. So I downloaded the same two games on both devices so I could see the difference in any performance or anything like that. And I downloaded one light game and one heavy game. So being the light game is Orcs Must Die 3 and the heavier game is going to be Elden Ring. Both devices are about 50% in charge and both devices have the games on the internal storage, not the SD card. So I'm gonna launch the games. Can you tell which is which? I made sure that the light is crossing both devices. This is the glossy display, if you couldn't tell. I still prefer this. As you can tell, the light is not leaking onto the rest of the display like it is on here. Now, you can't see the light as much in here, but then again, if you look further away from the light, like around the sides or around the bottom, it feels like it's harder to see than on the glossy display. Also, both displays are on max brightness as well, so it's not an issue of brightness. All right, so right now, I have both games running on a low graphics. So same resolution, same settings, everything is low. All right, so going up to a bit of a bigger level, right here we can tell that the temperature on both devices are hovering around 77 to 78, even 79 degrees, and both of them are locked at 60 FPS, which I'm surprised uh, because uh, this is actually running very smoothly. So as far as performance goes, it seems like they're very similar. And as you can see, we have the same exact settings on both devices for Elden Ring, and both devices are set to 60 frames per second. Now both games are running at about the same when it comes to FPS, so so 45 to 46 on the 256 model and 44 to 45 on the 512 model. But both games are running pretty well. And honestly, there doesn't seem to be a very big difference when it comes to performance. So honestly, at the very end, they seem to be very, very close in performance to where I'd say there's barely a difference. So they're about the same. So if you're worried about performance between the 256 model or the 512 model, they're exactly the same. I don't know about the 64 model because I know this one is running on basically an SD card instead of an SSD. Uh, but when it comes to these two models at least, they're pretty much exactly the same when it comes to performance. So in the end, which one should you buy? Honestly, I think it would just come down to the display. If you prefer the glossy display, go with the 256 model. If you prefer the matte display, go with the 512 model. And the reason why I say that is because as far as the storage goes, I feel like it's not gonna make that big of a difference because for the 256, I just got this uh, 512 SD card and that 512 SD card just makes me have a 750 gigabyte storage. So I wouldn't really worry about the storage and that SD card was a 40 $5. So the SD card and the device itself added up to about $600 while this one right here with the matte display This one ended up being about $680 or $690 with taxes and this one has 512 gigabytes So honestly, I would say go with this option if you want that matte display But otherwise you can just go with the 256 model and you can get yourself an SD card and it's going to be exactly the same And you can put the saving stores a game or two and just one last time here's for comparison Here's how both displays look. So honestly, if you prefer to have a little bit more of a colorful and clear display, I would say go with the 256 model. If you prefer to not have as many reflections on your screen, I would say go with the 512 model. But with the 512 model, also expect haloing around the screen because of that uh, matte display, which you won't really see on the 256 model. However, on the 256 model, expect to see reflections and your face more often. But I learned to zone that out, so it doesn't really bother me. And with that, let me know if you have any questions or if you need to see 
see any other comparisons or if there's anything I forgot to mention in this video, let me know and I will update you. Also, I read all comments, so leave your comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And with that, peace out. Oh, <laughs>